Hello YouTube family, it's your girl Marie. I'm on my channel, All Things Re. And I have not been on in a few weeks because um, when I've been busy, but I also wanted to let things grow. I kind of felt like I was giving too many updates too quickly. So I wanted to give um, you know the garden some time to grow. So this session will be um, about the good, the bad, um, and just the plain out ugly <laughs> um, in gardening. And what I want to do, I'm finding that I do want to, of course, document, like I said, um, my gardening, but I also want to help those that is just starting out like I once was. I'm no expert, Lord knows. I've always, I still ask for help. Um, I'm going to ask you guys for some help um, on this video of some challenges and things that um, I'm dealing with in my garden. So. Um, I want this channel to be informative and I also want it to um, be a place where we can be like a sounding board for each other. So please, 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 I, I want you to interact. Um, I want you to comment below. I want you to like, I want you to subscribe. I want you to share what's going on um, with all things real. Um, and this video is pertaining again to my garden. Um, the next video will be uploaded loaded probably tomorrow um, or the next day regarding um, our Father's Day feast. So as you can see on all things three, um, literally it's going to be things that involves my life um, that I do on a normal basis as far as gardening because um, I do a lot of things. Um, I used to have people that say, oh my God, just stick with one thing, whatever. But um, that is not my makeup. I am, I feel um, multi-talented multi, um, and um, a lot of things interest me. So um, I would try it, whether it work or not, I would try it. And um, you guys, I'm looking over there because the blue jays are in the bird house. So hopefully I can catch that on camera when we get moving. Um, but anywho, um, so I do want to say that this is the day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. Happy Father's Day to all the fathers out there. Um, so we're going to get started. So um, just to rehash that some of the things that you'll see on the channel truly will be all things real. The things that I do on, again, on my um, normal life. Um, and I don't want to feel like I have to rush every time I get on these videos. Um, I want to feel like I'm able to just converse with you guys, um, you know, on a normal basis. So, another video that I have never done before was, um, I am a baker. So, I do, um, bake things. So, I do want to start putting up, um, videos of my baking. Um, my husband, again, is a chef. And you will see him on the next video for Father's Day, our Father's Day um, feast. Um, we do like mukbangs. If you don't know what that is, just Google it or um, YouTube it. But it's just, you know, food. So um, I won't give it away. But um, come back and uh, turn on your notification bell so you will see the notification of the new video. Um, and uh, what we're going to put up on tomorrow or the next day. So, um, let's get started. And I am drinking Clear American Zero Sugars, Caffeine, Zero Calories. This is the strawberry flavor. So, I love these things. Two for a dollar, Walmart. Okay. Yes, it does have aspartame. And again, I know people don't like that. I did find some at Kroger's that have these and it doesn't have aspartame. So, when I can get those, I will. So let's go on our updated garden tour. It's a lot of things going on in the garden, a lot of things growing. Um, I'll tell you about what I have been harvesting the most. Um, and let's go. Everywhere I go, she is there. So, um, 
yeah i'm in the garden she comes in the garden so she's a great companion um she is not a cat that we brought with us if i did not tell you guys but she came with the house so she's a great hunter and she's a great companion so i enjoy her all right so we're gonna start from the beginning to the end so let's go let's go let's go let's go let's go let's take a walk in the garden walk in the garden okay let's start with this monster of a plant okay okay so i thought this was a yellow neck squash and i've grown i believe yellow neck yellow um neck squash before but i was like why is these leaves and stuff so big i just never know it to um get this humongous and just take over but it's not yellow neck this is a butternut squash um plant and let me show you look 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 oh oh my goodness and it's little ones i don't know if they're gonna make it they got pollinated or not but that's one and then you can see how they start off see that so it's one big one can you see that it's another big one another one up there but they're everywhere yeah they they this uh, butternut squash has taken over give me some advice um how do y'all deal with the butternut squash plant and is this normal for it to get this big so it's running that way it's coming this way and it's going that way i tell you and it's yes and it's so close to my and he's on you hear my husband calling me <laughs> um it's so close to my um tomato plants behind there and um so i was afraid of, uh, you know so scared about that all right so let's continue on so i have a blue bell pepper i had onions here they did not get so big too big so they'd be like you know they bought a golf ball size some of them smaller so i just pulled those yesterday and then i replaced it with um pepper plants so this is a, a bell pepper and this is i've never heard of this before but this is a giant macaroni sweet pepper and then that is jalapeno so these are the newbies well as you can see the tomatoes are going bananas they are going bananas so plenty of you this is the sweet 100 so it's plenty of um, fruit on it and I want to show you guys just a cluster um, and okay I'm gonna show you a cluster I have so much to say I'm gonna show you a cluster and you remember when the deer chomped down on these plants like six of the plants well it, all it did was, was made it stronger so now I see why people sometimes cut the tops of their peppers and tops of their tomatoes because it makes them have a stronger base but these things is bananas these things are crazy so um you see that let's see see that cluster wow wow they're getting a little color through them so um i say another week or so they'll be ready let's go over here and skip this plant right now i want to show you some more of the tomatoes um nope i have not finished laying the mulch every time i lay some i feel like it needs to be wider and bigger so i do have all my black cloth down most of it and i need more mulch. i have two more bags of premium mulch and um 
probably would fill out fill up that section over there and then I need to get more this week to um, complete the rest so this is I believe let me see these and that's not the this that's the big B this one hmm I try to keep the tabs but I don't think I might have it on the other video but I don't remember what these is but this is a big baby anywho it's a big tomato and this is one you see that you see that see that's one where it chomped down on it but look at that size of my hand it's a big tomato And then these are the big beef. So they're big too. Nice size. Nice size. Another one over there. I mean big one. This is the tallest one. So I think it's about four. Four feet tall. These are the organic ones. They're always slower. But they manage to catch up. So... I'm not expecting anything left from them. Let's go around here. This is a big boy. This thing is loaded. Y'all see that? It's loaded. That's the big beef. So everything um, over here, the tomatoes are doing wonderful. I have only watered the garden twice this year. It's growing season. Only twice. We've been getting enough rain to sustain and then with the mulching, it has helped a lot on cutting down on water, okay? Um, this is another zucchini plant. So, I have zucchinis on here. That's growing, I believe. One of them that's kind of like intertwined, you see that? I see a lot of spiders, but that's normal, I guess. It's just so exciting. Look at that. Ooh. I see that one. Look at that. Also pretty nice and shiny. Um, again, this video is to help people. So I'm gonna tell you guys what I use when I plant. Okay. Maybe what you um used or you want to switch up or something. This these have been the most productive zucchinis. I think I've harvested about five zucchinis so far. This is cucumber. I've gotten one big cucumber off of here. And that's it. Okay. But so far, so good. But this is my issue. My beans. Do you see? Ugly. The good, the bad, and the ugly. That's how I told y'all this video is going to be. The good, the bad, the ugly. Yeah. And, um, I mean, I'm getting some production. Not much. These are the bush beans. Not much. But you see all the holes? Because I have Asian beetles. And look at that. All around. They have just ate the plant alive. This is just starting to flower. Just starting to flower. Um, so I haven't gotten anything off it yet. But it's just ugly. I've harvested a few of the yellow wax. I mean, this thing is just poor. It just looks sad. Um, but anywho. Again, that's what comes with gardening. Everything is not going to be magnificent, you know? Everything is not going to be wonderful. And um, you want to just take the good with the bad. I am truly enjoying this garden seasoning. I'm so elated about our property and just having space. Let me say that. I'm, you know, excited that we um, have space. So, this is one of the questions. Oh, let me go back. So, to the beans, if you guys can tell me a remedy that you know that you have tried and it works, please comment below and give me some advice on that. Um, this is the fig tree. It's doing well. Um, 
I don't know if that just got ripped or somebody something took a bite out of it. Um, but I do see this is my first year tree. Y'all remember when I purchased it? Um, and you see that it has little fruit on them. One, two, another one, three. Let me know. I've seen people take them off so the tree can get bigger and all of that. Y'all, this is a dwarf variety. So it's not going to get so big. I don't know how tall. Um, but I want fruit. But <laughs> um, I know I could just let it do what it do. But let me know. You know, give me some suggestions of what best. Should I pluck those fruit off it or should I just let it grow? Okay. All right, so let's go. My husband just found this is one of my old um, Raise God boxes. So I don't know what he wants to put there. Um, again, we are going to put a pond in this area somewhere, probably here, I guess, where I'm standing. Let me step back so you can see my view. So. The garden is over there in the green, I mean the um, shed that everybody loves. Um, and that's the garden. Trellis with the beans sitting area. Now this is my new addition. Um, strawberry plants. I have not had strawberries this year. So I'm starting late. I'm starting late. Yes? You want to hold them up? My husband's holding up the onions, guys. That's what we harvested. The one that's facing you guys is the biggest. So that's what we got, okay? Um, so this will be the strawberry. I'm gonna put that in today. I already have the plants and I already have this dirt. So, and my husband put that out there. I don't know what he wants to grow in there. I could grow sweet potatoes. That would be awesome. I can use that for sweet potatoes. Um, I normally have would have planted them by now. I had some, couldn't get it in, and they were a disaster. So I'll see if I can find some. If not, I'll do something else with it. Um, the picnic table is here, guys, that I was talking about. Picnic table is here. Um, the pear, dwarf pear. I'm seeing some blackening of some of the leaves. Um, not sure why. If you could see that not sure why y'all know what that is and what I can do to fix it it's not fruiting at all um, this is first year I got this tree also um, but it's nice leaves on it um, just let me know what I can do so I came out a couple of days ago mornings ago because I hadn't been out my job um, so I wasn't able to get out and to my surprise I had do 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 do. Look what's growing. Watermelon. This is sugar babies. That's one. This is like my biggest. That's two. Oh my gosh, huge. Two. It's another one. Three. I think that's it of the sugar babies. And then look y'all. A rattlesnake. <laughs> rattlesnake. And I only see one of those. But that's okay. I'm just praying that um Nothing gets to it. I am going to put um, something underneath it. It's probably that cloth, the black cloth, just to, so it can have something to rest or mulch. I could probably put mulch. Um, honey, I'm coming. I'm trying to tell my husband back up because he's real close to my watermelon. And I do have cantaloupe here, um, but I don't see anything. Watermelon ain't never got that big. Yep. My husband just said, what, honey? The watermelon ain't never got that big. Never got that never, big. Never, never that big. So, they ain't used to be no bigger than that. <clears throat> yep. And they won't last. So Where's this stuff? So um, we're just excited that, um, listen now, 
we're just excited that um, they are growing and the um, sugar babies they don't um, the rattlesnake take longer I think like 180 days um, but it's already a nice size the sugar babies I think it's probably like eight half of that um, because they're a smaller watermelon so anything I'm praying that I get um, the sugar babies hopefully the rattlesnake make it too um, our garden growing season isn't that long August is our hottest month so we do have we're in the middle of June have rest of June July August and you know September too but a little of September but um yeah we're excited so guys that is the garden update um I have been harvesting lettuce twice this is my second time harvesting lettuce um the let's see spinach is done it bolted um and the onions green onions are, are done um because I wasn't you know harvesting that um enough but um I'm super excited about the garden and we're about to eat soon so please comment below oh I have to tell you guys what I use so whenever I'm planting um whenever I'm planting in my garden my vegetable garden what I use is in the hole I dig the hole and I put black cow in the hole and then I use organic worm castings you can get that from Home Depot for about seven to eight bucks um, I do know Walmart now sells black cow which they have never I've never seen them have it but this year I've, I've seen them have it and then um, the other guy on YouTube I'm so harbor with names but he's growing your greens growing your greens um, my husband is continually trying to talk to me y'all while I'm doing my video I think he's forgetting loaded with what honey oh okay okay so he's saying the Asian beetles is coming from this tree he said they load it with the Asian beetles. So maybe I put I don't know. I people say traps, some say no because it attracts them, but if I already have my husband wants to cut that down. <coughs> so anyway, back to what I was saying. So yes, so you can get now you can get um the black cow and then they have the Kellogg brand that I saw um the guy on Growing Your Greens dot com look him up on youtube he's he's one of the ones that i start watching first <coughs> um um he used to use kellogg's i remember him using the kellogg's brand um dirt before um so now i saw that at walmart i was very surprised um but i saw it at walmart um this season it's there so check your walmart and check into the kellogg's brand um also they have now black cow so walmart is trying to step their game up um what else uh, so that's all i do i put in the black cow in a hole i put in the organic worm castings um and i put that in and i'm telling you guys look at my garden um y'all know the beginning of the year i did a soil test which it was it, it says it was really good i think it was like 6.5 or something like that or seven it was really good so the soil here um, at the new location is good too but it's nothing wrong with enhancing it a little bit like I said um, I do put the black cow in the hole that I'm planting and also the um, worm castings organic what I did not do this year which I normally do for my tomato plants, I usually put salt and I think I did put salt in the holes I did put salt in the hole but I did not use um the dry milk i usually put dry milk i did not do that this year and they look like they're doing fine i have as you know or can see i have plenty um of fruit so i love you guys with the love of jesus christ please like please subscribe please share and don't forget that um this is the day that the lord has made and rejoice and be glad in it um thank you thank you thank you for 
subscribe and thank you for watching me thank you for taking time out your busy day to listen to me i hope i help someone if you have a question or a comment please um comment or um place your question below i love you guys be blessed